All right, guys, welcome back to Gardener's Orchard. I'm here in our high tunnel. We're getting ready to do a bunch of work here today. They're actually spreading some fertilizer manure out here. Uh, smells like a turkey farm. If you ever had turkey manure, that's what this smells like. Um, we want to come out today and show you how that new wood stove works. We got all the radiant heat installed. Let's go check it out with Farmer Drake. You're working? Working. All right. So, what is this you just applied on here? Some sawdust. Wet sawdust we had for the startup stove that we bring, and we're gonna put it to good use and just spread it out here all over the summer. It's gonna become organic matter in the soil. So. All right. So, you guys put manure, sawdust. Let's go look at that stove. All right. All the way on the end over here. All right, so here's the stove, Farmer Dre. For the ones who don't know what this is, please explain. This is a, a different formation of a de double barrel wood stove. So what we have here is a 300 gallon propane tank, and right here is a 60 gallon air tank. So it works like a double barrel uh, wood stove. We burn the wood in the, the the wood in the bottom to the door outside, so we load it up the outside of the high tunnel. We don't get any well, let's wood. Go, or let's go inside real quick. Inside the high tunnel, whenever we have tomato plants, so don't mess with anything. See, yeah, so they put cleaning up the, the ash right now. So what it does on a fire, the more surface area you have, the the, the more the heat expands. So that's why the double barrel wood still works so great. So whenever we were done building, we burnt a cardboard box in there. And then I realized how much this top uh, the the air compressor, you know, here how hot it burns. So we're like, wait a minute. So me and my brother Val, we came up with a little invention here. So what we do to heat up the soil instead of buying a different contraption with propane heated. We were like, well, you know what, let's just kill two birds with one stone. So we've got a sub pump here. The pipe is running through. We drilled holes through the top um, tank here. And the smoke heats up these um, black propane pipes and then it pumps into the ground. It circulates around, comes back around and then it heats up our soil. All right, so this is your temperature gauge. So currently it looks like uh, the water in the soil is around 70 degrees. The pump is off, turn the pump on. So you turn the pump on. We got a sump pump in here, cast iron sump pump. So it recirculates. So the pump picks it up, runs it through, and the return is right over there. Uh, so it gets up to about 10 psi uh, when it's running. So what are the temperatures that you've noticed changes? So the other night, and you guys noticed we don't have any fans to move the air in. Yeah, we're gonna install some of those tonight. But with just the natural uh, heat moving through the tunnel, it was eight degrees outside and it was 34 in the back of the tunnel. So without any fans moving the heat, it was already that much warmer in here. So, I mean, around the stove, it's gotta be at least 100, 100, 120 degrees because it just burns so hot. Once that wood gets going, it starts burning, so. How hot did the water get the, when the you guys were doing The hottest the water we got, it was a, up to 160 degrees pumping wow. into the ground so that water temperature really got warm and the soil temperature we don't have a soil gauge yet for the soil for the soil but i'm pretty sure it rose at least 10 15 degrees just from the hot air going through there all right so this is the new stove we have here double barrel with radiant heating uh something that's been uh installed and tested this is what we're looking like in here right now getting ready to till all right stay tuned for more guys Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions about how this was built, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we actually have the video before this, so link will be linked below um, on how we made it or just check our last videos um, on how we made that stove. And um, Adrian is the one who did all the welding on that. So if you guys want to know any more information, let us know. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Please give us a big like, comment below, share with your friends and family. Thank you. Have a great day.